Good morning, class. Today we are going to talk about expressions. Does anybody remember what an expression when we're talking about math is? All right. Sammy, Sammy Bixopkin, what is an expression? Yes! Well, an expression is like when you are happy, you express yourself. No, wait, that's not math. Um, an expression is a group of numbers put together with all kinds of symbols like additions and... Well, you're right, Sammy. An expression does have numbers and it does have operational symbols. To be exact, an expression is a combination of numbers, variables, and operations, operational symbols that represent a number or quantity. A numerical expression does not have an equal sign or an answer. So today I have a question for you. How do you think these two expressions are related? You have 3 times 5 plus 4, and then 3 times 5 plus 3 times 4. What do you think? Samantha, what do you think? Well, if you don't mind, Miss Imzak, I would like to come up to the board and show everybody. I think the first one is going to be smaller than the second one because you're only multiplying by 3 one time. Um, Samantha, I disagree. Can I come and show you why? Okay, you come and explain it if you think you're so smart. My pleasure. Personally, I think that they both are going to equal the same. Without even thinking about the answer, I know if I'm finding 3 times 5 plus 4, I'm basically finding what 3 groups of 9 is. So, if I'm, I'm finding 3 times 5 plus 3 times, I'm finding what 3 groups of 5 plus 3 groups of 4 is. So that's basically what finding 3 groups, you're basically finding 3 groups of 9. So it's the same exact thing. Um, I'm sorry, Sammy, but I'm right. Okay, we'll see about that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.